Now, how to import your AutoCAD files into Photoshop? Uh, what you can do is you can export it to EPS. But before that, the first thing that you have to do is to clean your AutoCAD file. You, for example, uh, this is from Minusha. Thank you so much for having a good AutoCAD file. So I choose your file as example. I've deleted. Let's see the original one. Okay, I've deleted the grids here. Okay, and um, you might want to double check. Okay, for everyone, you might want to double check the line width. Line width is very important to get a nice uh, floor plan rendering. Okay, after you're satisfied with your floor plan, what you can do is um, you can export to EPS. But before that. Go to um, options, okay. Scroll, uh, sorry, go down here and you'll see under print, okay, under print menu here. There's, okay, go down here, manage plotters. Okay, why we have to do this? Because if you go to plot, under here, there's no EPS yet. Okay, there's no uh, P EPS printer. So now let's just escape first, go to um, options, under print, go down here, Oops. go down here and click manage plotters. So under manage plotters, what you're going to do is click here, add a plotter wizard, double click. After that, you're going to just click next next okay this is eps okay postscript level one or level one plus or level two i'm not sure what's the difference so i just you can just click postscript level two just click next next and uh, just next again and you can just maintain the name and finish so now you have where is it uh yeah postscript level two so go to options and when you click plot or you can just press ctrl p on your key now by default it'll be like this so what you have to do is click and you can see here at the bottom part of the plotter choose postscript level 2 now make sure you click this box okay tick plot to file choose a4 size and then under what to plot, click window. Let's select the floor plan. Uh, center the plot. Under plot scale, make sure it's 1 to. You can have it 1 to 100, but I think it could only fit um, 1 to 1 to 5. I think 150 is too small. Uh, make sure this is portrait. Okay, choose portrait. Uh, plot style or pen assignment is based on your own setting. You might have this, you might not have this. Okay, you might have your safe settings. Click apply to layout so you don't have to reset, uh, do the setting again if you want to print after this. So click OK. Okay, this is because it's already set by uh, Minusha. Uh, I'm just going to ignore. Okay, just click continue because I'm not using the same skill. Now save it where you want to save. I will save in my in the folder uh, courses two three four rendering floor plan. So I'm going to save it here. Um, you see it's EPS file floor plan example. It is very important to arrange your files properly. So make sure you save it where you can find it. So the EPS file is here. Okay. Now let's go to um where is it? Uh, Photoshop. Okay, here's my Photoshop. Let's create new file as I've explained before. 